Hi there, this is Stephanie with ESU 17, and this is a brief tutorial on how to create classes in your Google Classroom. I'm going to go ahead and open up one of the classes that I have already created. If you need help creating a class, we do have another video available on our site for you to look at. So I'm going to tap the class that I want to um, work with. I'm going to go to my stream because that's where I can do all my assignments, and I'm going to push the plus button here in the bottom right corner. Notice that here I can create announcements, so if you have a general announcement such as no school on Friday or early out or remember your test tomorrow, you can just do create an announcement. And it's anything that you want to share with your class, so I'm just going to put um, don't forget to study for the test on Friday. You can choose to assign that to all students here. Or, I, um, if you have students registered, you can only send messages to select students as well. Also, if you have multiple classes and you need to, you know, say the same message to all of them, you can actually send it to multiple classes. You can choose to put it under a topic, so I can create a topic and say, um, test announcements. And finally, I can also add files. So maybe I have a test study guide that I want to add to this announcement to make sure that all the kids have their study guide. I can either attach it if it's like a Word document or a PDF. I can link to it in my Google Drive if I already have it uploaded into my Google Drive. Um, I can also record a video of myself making this announcement if, if I have students who struggle with reading. And finally, I can also link to something. So I'm going to go ahead and post it. I can choose to schedule to post it later, or I can save it as a draft. I'm going to post it now. Okay, so now I have my announcement there. Um, I can also create an assignment, which is probably one you're going to be using a lot. And so if I want to do an assignment, it's kind of the same procedure. Only this time, I probably, the only difference between assignment and a announcement is that an assignment is graded. So I can say, please um, complete the study guide. I might actually put that in instructions. And in the title, I do like to always kind of start everything out with a date just because it helps for organization later on. So I'm going to say um, study guide. Maybe I'll put chapter 10. Okay. All right, so now I can also choose a due date, so I can pick whatever due date I want for it. And I can also do a time, you saw right here, I can put a time in. I can put a topic or not, I'm going to put no topic for now. And again, just like on our announcement, we have our options here. Um, one thing that I really like to do is uh, use Google. And I can look at all kind of my recent documents. If I want to, I can pick a document. So if this were the study guide, I could pick that. And this is a really cool part. You can have students just able to view, but I actually want them to fill it out. So I can actually choose to create and make a copy for every single student. So they will not be editing my um, original document. They'll actually be editing their own, which I really like to do. Um, and also have students can edit files. So I'm just going to make a copy for each student. And again, I can assign it now, I can schedule it for later, or I can save a draft if I want to. And I can also choose if I want to go to all students or not. So I'm going to go ahead and assign it. Okay, for now it says zero done and zero not done, and that's because I don't have a student in my class. Um, if I had a student in my class, it would keep a nice tally of um, how many students had completed it and how many students had not completed it. So it's just a really, really nice, easy way to um, get information out to your students. As we talked about in the last video in the About section, um, it does automatically create a folder in your Google Drive. So that's a really great way to organize and it also puts all these events on the calendar. So it will create a, a calendar for your students in their account with all their assignments as well as yours. So for instance, if I go to my drive now, I'm just going to go ahead and refresh it. Okay, and I'm just going to do a quick search. Oh, you can actually see it down here. Um, here I have YouTube class right here. 
So it automatically created this nice folder for me. It automatically created a folder for the assignment I just made. And obviously it's empty now, but as students were to complete that, that folder would fill up with all of the um, submitted assignments. So students can no longer say they lost their assignment because it saves it right in your drive. It also creates a similar folder in their drive. So they're also going to have a folder like that in their own drive. So that is how you create an assignment. I'm going to go back to my stream here. Um, again, you can also do the same process to create questions. And if you're using um, posts from last year, you can, you know, if you have the same study guide, you can reuse a post from last year and um, save yourself a little bit of work. Uh, the next video I cover will talk about grading assignments once they're done. So feel free to tune in to the next video.